What is your position? So officially it's design manager specialist in LEGO, in LEGO retail model production Kladno. Which means I'm a designer working for LEGO, getting paid for building large stuff out of LEGO bricks. That's incredible. Okay, so we have the Lamborghini Cian one to one. Okay. Give us some specs of this thing and let's, take, let's just do a little walk around. Sure. So it's uh, accurate down to a millimeter. So it's exactly life-size replica built using about 400,000 Lego elements, Lego Technic elements to be specific. It's, uh, it's existing because of the set, smaller set you can actually buy. So this is a promo we are doing for that set. Um, we worked together with uh, Lamborghini over about, about 10 months um, in a team of 15 people. Uh, in total, we spent over 8,000 hours um, doing this, um, which is like four and a half uh, many years if you want to do it um, alone yourself in your living room. So, so, so tell me, um, how much does it weigh? So the full transport package is 2.2 tons. Uh, about half of that, I would say, would be the, the podium, and which is a massive steel thing. Then uh, we have a steel frame, rear, rear wheels, um, courtesy of Lamborghini, um, some electrical components, and about 400 kilos of uh, Lego Technic elements. Now the wheels are not Lego, but the, br the brakes are, I see that. Yes. Now, does this roll at all? Does, no, no. no. It's, it do, doesn't roll. Do out. the doors open? No. No. Uh, is this created by, you know, by with a computer? How do, how do you, how do you make this? Or is it just a scaled? Oh. Is it, obviously this is not a, just a scaled <coughs> uh, scaled that version mm -hmm. of the Lego. So you know what is the process of it? Um, so it actually starts uh, with a sketch. Um, this like ideation phase where we try to come up with uh, some some nice ideas to uh, how how do we do the bodywork because. Uh, the, the shapes are so complex on the real car, it actually took us a while to understand what, what's happening there visually. Um, and then we figured out, oh, there's this hexagon thing, which is a very common in Lamborghini design language, and we want to use that. And it just so happens that we have this shape um, in LEGO Technic, in which if you combine four of them, you get something hexagon-ish. Um, so we decided on, uh, on doing this uh, skin uh, uh, if you may, out of these separate hexagonal segments. And then, of course, there is a, the computer part where we actually um, design these individual bits. Um, if it's not skin, it also has to be designed by, by uh, a person on computer, or um, sometimes um, we hand build just as a test. For example, the rear headlights, there were many prototypes. How do you do, how do, you do these uh, exhausts or the grill, uh, details like that. So these all exist as individual design files on computer. We have them built by our very talented um, builders in our factory in Kladno, Czech Republic. And then there is this final assembly where we try to put everything together. Um, and that's usually when we discover that some parts just don't fit exactly right, so we need to modify and then like the final round of modifications to, you know, maybe to put the mirror on the on the doors requires small tweaks here and there and stuff like that. Okay, so this unit here is going on a tour, mm -hmm. you know, all around the world I'm assuming. What happens after it's toured? Does it get taken apart? I hope not. No, uh, even though we could, it's not glued, so we could take it apart uh, down to individual parts. We won't do that. We will find some nice, appropriate place. Uh, the Bugatti, for example, the previous car, uh, it's now in, um, in a place called Lego Campus, which is our new office in uh, Billund, Denmark, the headquarters. Uh, so I'm assuming when this is done touring, uh, we will find some place like this where um, it will stay. Well, you know, I have a nice uh, nice garage that this could actually <laughs> go into, right? You know, sure. Just in case, if you had nowhere else to put it, right? Okay, um, uh, yeah. in that case, we could reach out to you. Okay, excellent. Um, I hope you are good uh, with building without instructions though, because whenever this travels, uh, there is some damage and we always have to come in and uh, repair bits and pieces and uh, you will have to fix it yourself. Oh man, this is a sweet, sweet thing. Now, are there any other models that you are working, one-to-one -one models that you're currently working on right now that you can talk about? I can't. 
I can't comment on that. No comment? No. Nope. No comment. Mm -mm. Okay. Nada. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Pleasure.